with uh, um, a world's leading expert. Uh, this one is, is one of our own, um, young uh, Martin Jones, who I'm trying to remember, did, did we first meet at the London Golf Show? Uh, we did, many years ago. Yeah, 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 so the very first London Golf Show um, at XL. Um, and I already discovered a little bit about the Alexander Technique um, and was very impressed that, that Martin had completed his certification and, uh, and saw an awful lot of benefit to the WGTF and to him personally at that time. Um, I don't think we've explored the full potential, but we're now going to bring in this as an essential element of one, the training and of your understanding. So you'd have had a, a tiny introduction through the law of inhibition, which is in um, the examination and some awareness of that. And what we're now going to do, obviously, is heighten that. I'm going to tell a little bit about the Alexander Technique um, and those things involved. Um, we're going to do a little demonstration so, so that you can see how powerful it can be. Then Martin will tell you how he can help you um, through one, our own WGTF one day training, discover all of the aspects that would have a bearing on your client's improved performance. Um, and then how also you can seek Martin out uh, on a personal one to one um, level, which again is very much part of um, the Alexander Technique ethos, i.e. that it's a coach, it's a one-to-one -one, um, operation. So we, we're almost um, introducing to this method to put an Alexander uh, Technique uh, person into your collaboration and obviously you'd be foolish not to use um, Martin um, originally in that collaboration. So Martin's driven up um, from Sunningdale, um, one of, uh, on Wentworth area, so that's one of the homes of golf. Um, so so um, if you are going to seek his advice, uh, you, you can have a wonderful day out, maybe taking some golf as well. Uh, so Martin's going to tell you a little bit about um, Alexander. Um, I'm going to leave him to take over, um, and, and then we'll, we'll see how it goes in the next 10 minutes. Right, thank you. Uh, Alexander Technique. Uh, what is it? Lots of people have never heard of it. So I'm going to have a little bit of introduction. Now it's very, very uh, good for golfers. Golfers are very keen to learn things. They always want to learn things. Uh, we're coaches. We want to teach them things. Very, very good. Uh, what, what is the Alexander Technique? It's a mind-body technique for getting better use of your body. People uh, do things in habits. We always do things in habits. If it's a good habit, we want to keep it. If it's a poor habit, we want to change it for a better habit. Similarly, the golf swing is very similar to that. We would we'll try and reproduce what we, uh, what we do. Now, if it's, if it's a good swing, we definitely want to keep that. But if it's a poor swing, we'd like to possibly change it for a better one. Uh, uh, Alexander. Alexander was uh, an Australian actor who had trouble with his voice. Uh, he, he used to, because uh, this isn't something that's, that started two or three years ago. This has been going over a hundred years now. And uh, he, he was a, a, a speaker, a reciter. He used to recite in the Royal Albert Hall. And when he was doing that, he was doing it uh, for a lot of money. But he suddenly had a problem with his voice. He couldn't uh, raise his voice to the back of the auditorium. So he visited... Uh, lots of doctors in Harley Street, and they all found out that uh, uh, try this, try that, try the other, but nothing would really help him. So he thought it might be something that he was doing to himself that was affecting his voice. So he worked on himself, and he found uh, that um, when he was looking in a mirror at himself speaking, his head always went back and down. He had a, he had a, a body habit. So he thought, well, that's no problem. I'm not going to do that I'm not, I, and I, I'm going to be able to speak. So his head didn't go back and down, but he found he could not do that. He was always doing that. And every time he went to speak, his head went back and down. So over a period of quite a long time, he was able to inhibit that, stop that movement. And then he was back on the circuit, earning big money, like uh, Elton John today. He was doing that sort of work. Uh, reciting was very big in those days. He decided that this was such a, a, a big thing uh, that he had, that he would... He would uh, work on, on the rest of his body. 
so he worked on, on the rest of his body. He, 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 he gained a conscious control of what he was doing. Uh, this conscious control allowed him to release his uh, tensions in his body and uh, direct in a, in, in a certain way. Where things tend to go wrong uh, it, um, with the body is as we get older, gravity pulls us down. And as we go down more and more, we lose f freedom and flexibility in the body. Uh, so, posture. It comes straight into posture there. If we have poor posture, we will lose distance in our shots. We won't be able to turn our shoulders and the result on the golf ball will be poor. So, uh, we're always interested in, in maintaining uh, good posture. Um, the difference between good posture and bad posture um, uh, is fairly easy to see. And we're, I'm going to give a demonstration in a minute uh, of that. So that will be really great to see. I think that, um, as, as I've heard you talk um, and I've listened very carefully, um, I can see so many areas in which our basic WGTF um, teaching is aligned to all of these aspects of, uh, of Alexander Technique and hopefully those that are listening to the tape would have spotted them or maybe even replay it and, and go back. So, um, look, if we, if we take a, uh, just, just a second out then and we'll reset up the studio and then let's go into a, a, a demonstration, uh, a real contextual one within the, within the golf industry. Working, I'm working today with Bettina. Bettina uh, has played golf, but uh, she hasn't played for long. So we're just working on some body habits, in particular the setup. So I'm going to ask Bettina to set up in uh, her normal way. Okay, Bettina, would you set up mm -hmm. in, the, in what is your normal way? Mm -hmm. And if you just sort of maintain that posture for us, okay. And as you see on the camera, there's a very, very large curvature of the spine here. And the teenager just went down. So there was a shortening and the head, if you can see the head, the head's back a little bit there. Okay? And there's a, a, a mass of tension in the arms, they're going down to the, to the club. Okay, Bettina, if you, if you come up again now, that's right, and just um, uh, relax. So now, now, I want you to this time imagine if rather than go down to the ball, uh, you're going to ease up and then set up. Mm -hmm. I just want you to think about that then. So ju just pause there to start with, and then you're going to ease up and then set up. And that's right, and then think about lengthening here. Mm -hmm. And I'll just make a slight adjustment of the head there. That's right. And think about the arms being free now. So perhaps if you just let them go and nothing going on here now, that's very, very good. And then just clasp your hands together as if you had, had a golf club in hand. And, uh, and now you see that all this is one piece. Uh, the freedom in the shoulders and your feet should be, three points of the feet should be in contact with the floor and the knees should be able to be free now. So just wriggle your knees a little bit like that. Uh, so, so Latina is showing a little bit of tension in the legs because that freedom is not totally there. But um, over a period of, of postural lessons, then that freedom would be there, uh, in, in enabling much more movement of the body when going for the swing. Pause. So that was very interesting just from my perspective, um, working that and seeing how that, that, that body changed. Um, tell us a little bit about your experience, Bettina. Um, when we made these adjustments, it was easier for me to get into this position and it was with less tension in my body and it feels quite naturally. So, so Martin, um, you, we, we briefly touched on one particular issue there. What else um, can you tell us? Uh, what aspects do we need to address? What aspect does Alexander 
address within your specific uh, golf uh, knowledge? From where we are now, uh, the, that was what we would call the setup. Uh, balance is a massive thing, so we've already started to work on balance when we're in the setup in that free and easy way. Where if you're not in that free and easy way, then you would already be introducing tensions in, into the start of your swing. So that would be quite massive. Other aspects uh, that we can work with would be uh, dominant eye, um, um, the, the awareness of where the club head is on plane, that is massive. And uh, if, if you can get, if you know where the club head is on plane, then you can tune your swing in just like that. Uh, and, uh, and that would be so helpful to you. The top pros have, have trouble themselves doing that. So introducing the technique to them uh, is, 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 is one of my requirements. Okay? Other aspects would be, uh, just to take that, um, tension. Now, uh, we walk a lot. A uh, five mile walk in golf is quite normal. And if you're hitting it in the wrong places, it could be a lot more. <laughs> uh, so how we walk to the ball, how we walk is a big factor. So if we walk in a certain way, we will re re reduce tension. If we walk in another way, we'll increase tension. So when we get to the shot, get to the ball, we'll be in a better state or a worse state. And that goes right the way through. As we become uh, um, champion golfers, then we'll be playing in tournaments. And, uh, and if we're in contention, if we're in contention on the final day, if we're in contention in the last nine holes, then it becomes a massive factor of tension in the body and, and working on, uh, uh, on ourselves and also uh, is, is a... Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, don't worry. So, yeah, so, so, uh, uh, and so, what, so what other aspects have we got down there that specifically that we're going to deal with uh, on your one day training? And when we say deal with bringing to your awareness of yeah. what's going on. Yeah, all aspects would be uh, breathing. Breathing is a, a massive factor and will help us a lot. If we do it in the right way, we will be uh, releasing tension. But if we breathe in the wrong way, we'll be increasing it. So that would be, be sort of going against ourselves if we were doing that wrong. Um, flexibility is... is um, comes from everything that we do, flexibility would be, would be helpful to us and that would be, would be a natural aspect of the technique. Um, and all those things can, can be helped. So the Alexander technique is, is quite a, a massive thing. We're working on the golfing machine, the golfing machine being the body. Uh, if we're not moving the body in the right way, then uh, we, the results on the ball will be very poor. Um. Have you got any views on, on, on how Alexander technique is different from, let's say, golf biomechanics or, you, you know, that type of aspect or, you know, how is, it, how is it different and how is it so essential for these coaches to know of its existence? Well, uh, there won't be a coach alive, uh, right from the very top to the very bottom, that won't have said, just relax to their students. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but there won't be many coaches from the top to the bottom who really know how to do that. Uh, but the Alexander Technique will teach you to do it for yourself. Don't forget, I'm uh, a coach uh, and a trainer. I teach you to work on the Alexander Technique. I teach you to do it. So you will be doing it and I'm only prompting you. So you will get some of these skills as well as the awareness of where we want to go and then, you know, obviously uh, Martin's expertise in helping you uh, further the relationships with your clients and those experiences. And, and obviously Martin can also tell you, uh, because, you know, there will always be one of you that will want to go on and actually become uh, Alex Technique, uh, uh, Alexander Technique qualified and then Martin will, 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 will tell you a little about that. Uh, Martin, if you could... Um, just tell our members about your website and, um, and give out your phone number. This is going out to the general public, so uh, although this is specifically for WGTF coaches, it will be uh, publicised. So if you could just give your website and your phone details and, and obviously the freedom to contact you. Yeah, if you check me out on Martin, M-A-R-T-Y-N, don't put the I-N, M-A-R-T-Y-N, alexandertechnique.com. Uh, my website will come up and there's a little bit about golf on there. 
and there's also a bit about what the technique is, what we haven't been able to say in this uh, short uh, clip, uh, it will, it will uh, highlight it. Uh, the phone numbers and the emails are on there, I'll just go uh, over the number, it's 0777 Look forward to seeing you and uh, I'm sure we'll have a great time. And thanks very much for watching, really appreciate the time, thank you.